I have been told multiple, multiple, multiple times to try a rapid fire shotgun since Bungie made the spread changes they made this season. And to be honest, I wasn't sold, but I finally threw one on. And let me tell you, it's actually pretty good. Now, the shotgun I decided to try out is the reissued Iculos shotgun. Now, I've had this thing crafted in my vault for weeks now. You can see it's level four, so nowhere close to the exact perks that I'd like to use, but I actually think it felt pretty decent. Now, at the beginning of the season, all shotguns got fixed spread patterns. So instead of RNG being factored into where your pellets are going to go, we were given these exact details on where the bullets would hit. Total side note, I picked the darkest map in the game to show you the spread patterns, and I happened to use a black reticle, which makes things a little bit harder. You can see on this precision frame Fractithis that it has a vertical spread pattern, which usually means that you're going to hit a majority of your pellets as long as you aim center mass. Now the rapid fires have this sort of square reticle. The pellets go within a diamond shape that kind of fits within the square. And naturally, I would imagine this would make the pellets a little bit less easy to hit. But you can actually see on the wall here that the pellet spread is roughly just as tight between the two different options. The one on the left, the precision frame, is a little bit wider up and down, whereas the one on the right is a little bit tighter all around. Now, after some testing, we know that the rapid fire frame shotguns are one hitting at five meters, which for some reason is further than lightweight frames. Some fan favorites like Wastelander and Without Remorse are one hit killing at around four ish meters, which doesn't seem to make any amount of sense. You would think that those lightweight frames would be about five while rapid fires would be four. But the point of me explaining all of this is that rapid fire frames seem to have taken the place of lightweight frames in their use case. These things shoot incredibly fast, allowing you to get follow up shots in really, really easily. They're also pretty good for cleanup kills since you don't need a whole ton of damage to get that done. Now I'll go over the role that I personally plan to craft with you right now. I'm going to go with range stats. I may end up changing this after I use it a little bit more and test a bit more, but that is the current plan once I hit level 7 is to put a range masterwork on the shotgun. I am debating between small bore and barrel shroud as I'm not sure if that little bit of extra range really makes that big of a difference, but that extra handling could help. I'll be running accurized rounds. Now because of how fast these weapons are, I think there are a few different options that you might want to go with here. I threw on offhand strike, I'm just kind of trying out different weapon perks, but this states that final blows grant additional weapon range, stability, and accuracy when firing from the hip for a short duration, and this could be kind of nice on a shotgun. I need to do a little bit more testing to see if I like it or not, but any additional accuracy when hip firing is great for me. I will most likely end up running threat detector as I greatly prioritize handling on my shotguns. I use them for cleanups, not really so much for running in with it. So to me, that extra handling when somebody's nearby is great. Now I'm debating between two different perks here. I'm either going to go with Cascade Point to really lean into that hilarious rapid fire feel. It almost kind of feels like Fourth Horseman in a way. We'll, uh, we'll throw this on once we get to level 8 and do some further testing. But the other perk I'm thinking I might use is 1-2 Punch. Now, if you've used a lightweight shotgun before, you know that a lot of your kills will end up being a shoddy melee. This perk is great because it just gives you additional damage on that melee, and it works really, really well against supers. I personally haven't used it on a rapid fire shotgun, so this will also require more testing. But I know on Without Remorse, I was able to finish up super kills like very, very often with a shoddy melee. There was a little bit of a nerf to the perk, so this will require further testing. I need to use it a little bit more before I decide, but I am like two seconds away from throwing this trials memento on there because I think it looks cool. I mean, it's, it's like kind of like a block of cheese, but I, I mean, who doesn't like a block of cheese? You know what I mean? I stream every day, but Tuesdays and Thursdays at twitch.tv slash Strasner. I'll be testing this shotgun a lot. I personally started playing Rumble again recently, and I'm actually having a really good time. So we're kind of running through some different build options and trying to find loadouts that are really fun for us.